everyone. Welcome back to Open. Bueno, Thanksgiving is around the corner, mi gente. And do you know what you're cooking? Hmm. Now, while this may not be the time to start experimenting with new ingredients, you know, no new mac and cheese or coquito recipes for that matter, right? We got to keep it classic. Pero there is always room for healthy and nutritious alternatives for this upcoming holiday season. Today, we welcome back Harlem Grown, a nonprofit organization that aims to transform community through learning urban farming, sustainability, and nutrition. And here to share more is Harlem Grown's mobile teaching kitchen operating chef and chef coordinator, Jamie Roden. Hi, Hi. how are you? Good. Good. Such a pleasure to meet you. Oh, this is exciting. It's very exciting. <laughs> yes, and uh, so how long have you been doing this? So I've actually only been doing this for two years in this capacity at Harlem Grown, but I have been in the industry for over 17 years. So cooking is my life and my passion. And now, but now you're mobile about it. Correct. Now I get to go ahead and take my truck, which is called the MTK. So you said that's the long words, but we hyphen it as mobile teaching kitchen to go ahead and let you know that we can go anywhere and cook at any place that you want. We don't need a burner. We, I mean, we have a burner, we have a diesel truck, pop it up, we're good. I love that. So now we're just going to... Uh, hyphenated into MTK. MTK. That's Make it. it easy for you. Make it easy. Make All it right. easy peasy. So, now, uh, first and foremost, uh, I, let's be clear about everything that we're going to be demonstrating today. Yes. So, we're going to go ahead and be making a savory Harlem grown Thanksgiving stuffing. So, we have fresh ingredients from our farm that we will be using. So, we have our onions, we have our celery, we have our parsley, we have our lovely pumpernickel and cubed white bread, and we have our shaved Brussels along with some vegetable stock. All right, and so all of this, when she says Harlem Grown, is because it's locally grown. Correct. Harlem Grown is a nonprofit located in Harlem, and we do urban farming. And through our organization, we go ahead and we teach children about nutrition, hydroponics, and actually just agriculture itself, along with black and brown history. That is actually very important in the foundation of the culinary program that we have created at Harlem Grown. I love that. So, so before we get started, uh -huh. as a chef, you're uh -huh. going to be my Sue. I need to give you an apron. So I'm going to be a sous chef yes, today? Yes, yes, oh, you will. Right. All right. Oh, my gosh. I get my own apron. Oh, apron. Do you mind if oh, I tie look. you in the no, back? No, please. And it's adjustable. It is. Love that. Love that. Okay. So I'm going to get you started, and then we're going to start cooking. We're going to start cooking? Yes. Okay, so I'm the assistant, mi gente. Yes. But I like the fancy word, sous chef. Yes, All right. you are a Sue. All right, I'm a Ready? Sue. I'm a Sue. So what I'm going to ask you to do is I'm going to need you to be my hand model today. Oh, también. Okay. All right. So we're going to go through the ingredients step by step and add it in, and you're going to help assist me. Yeah? Lovely. All Lovely. Right. Lovely. And it's okay that I don't have gloves on because I'm going to be eating this food anyway. Right. It's all going to be for her. Right. You'll and see on it. top of that, you know, <laughs> I got a manicure, so let's move it. All right. All perfect. Right. So we're going to start with the butter. Uh-huh. So you're going to dump the butter in. Okay. As my Sue, come on, let's go. Yeah. So we're going to let this melt down. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to slowly get it. We did have our pan hot, so we're ready to go with that. Okay. As that's going, I need you to add the onions. Okay, so we've got onions. Mm -hmm. How much? You can dump it. Oh, You don't even have to get your thing. hands dirty. All yes, right. this is all portioned out, Love ready that. to go. Okay. I'm going to lower it a little bit. You see how high it got? Right. We want to lower it because we want a nice sweat in them. And we also don't want to pop it. Right. We have our celery. We're going to dump that in right now. Okay, we're going to dump Beautiful celery Beautiful celery. In. Now, when we go ahead and we talk about having all this together, mm -hmm. it's called a mise en place. Can you say that? A mise en place? Correct. That means having everything in its place. So you see how you're not really moving too far? Here's your garlic. That's your next step. Ah, so this is the preparation before you actually start cooking. Correct. There's and it's called the mise en place. Mise en place. It's oh. a French term. Oh, I love that. And garlic, my and fave. fresh garlic. You yeah, never you have, too, never much have too much garlic. Let yep. it go. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you see that we're just slowly getting all this together. Right. Now we're going to go ahead and take the time. When okay. you go ahead and you take time, mm -hmm. there's a lot of people that bunch time and keep it together. But there's a trick. You hold it like a tree, like I show my kids, and you go like that, ah. and boom. So that way you don't have to worry about picking up the stems. Nice. But we are going to go ahead and toss it in just to give it the aromatic. Can we say aromatic? Aromatic. See, oh, you can go. talk to the instructor. You, you can definitely. Tell them, like, can we say, so, what age range do you instruct? So, I love I, the way we you actually, me. thank you. So, we actually have kindergarten all the way to high school. Ah. So, there's always it's a multifaceted version of how we want everybody to know that they can cook. It, I think it's very important that we start the little ones the way that we do. We're going to go ahead and continue. I'm going to talk. Okay. Add the Brussels in, please. Oh, Brussels. I got to tell you, Shaved Brussels are Brussels. my favorite. 
Thank they you. They are my fave. Okay. All right. So when we go ahead and we teach the little ones, right. the little ones are the ones that empower their parents. So when we teach them and get them excited about their vegetables, now when they go home and say, Mommy, Mommy, I want Brussels, Chef Jamie, Chef Rich, also, which is also my partner that does the program with right. me, we go ahead and we have the kids talking. So now the parents are coming to us. How are my kids eating vegetables? How are you doing this? Show me. Because we teach them the history. We teach them where they come from. This is our lovely vegetable stock. So you're going to take the vegetable stock, and I want you to slowly, while I'm stirring, put it in. Okay, this is and vegetable then with, stock. Correct. And then with my high schoolers and my elders, what I like to do with them is get them ready for college. You know, it is the most expensive to go ahead and be outside cooking, to go ahead and do certain things. Right. Um, it gives them their independence. They don't have to worry about being on their own and not being able to provide. Also, too, because we are in the Title I community of Harlem, we do have latchkey kids, which is the old school term. And you don't want to give them a nice, healthy snack. So we give them alternatives to go ahead and be able to do so. That's beautiful. That is, it is so important because, yeah. you know, unfortunately, everybody goes to the quick fix. There's 14 bodegas in, the, in a block radius. How many grocery stores do you see? And how many grocery stores do you see that actually have fresh produce? proper fresh produce. And do they also grow their own Yes, vegetables? they do. So they go ahead with the urban farming. That's also part of the program. So they go to the farm. They actually plant, get to see it grow. We also have hydroponic systems in schools and in our farming locations to be able to go ahead and provide greens all year round. Right, right, right. Because so the hydroponics, it doesn't matter the doesn't season. matter the season. Nice. So you're nice. always getting leafy greens, and it's beautiful during this time of the year because that's when you need all that good fibrous hardiness. So right, right. It's good. Oh, this is lovely. So and now we now have, have our salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. Okay, so my kids make fun of me because I love Mrs. Dash. I introduced Mrs. Dash to them now, so I'm going to have you pour that all in. Okay. The reason why the I whole thing? The whole thing. The reason why that I introduced them is because it is a salt-free item. Oh. Unfortunately, due to the demographic in our area, we have hypertension, high cholesterol, and all of that. Mm -hmm. So by the time we get to Mrs. Dash, we're craving the salt. This creates the flavor, no salt, and you're getting extra boost of vitamins and minerals inside of this, which is always a good thing. There's never too much you can't get, so this is an opportunity to add more. Nice, especially when you're Latina. Yeah, <laughs> you need that you know flavor. sabor, <laughs> nice way. You know what I'm saying? So I get it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, then we have a little bit of olive oil. I'd just like you to, to toss that in. Okay. Go ahead. Nice. I'm going to do a little more stir. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you to go ahead and grab our bread. Okay. And you're going to slowly start adding in the bread. So these are? Pumpernickel and country white bread. Okay. You can go ahead and also do the paquete, the, the Petrich Farm. Totally fine. Okay. Sometimes you don't have the time to do so, if, right. or if you have old bread, you always want to go ahead and be as sustainable as possible. So making sure that you use every single part of your vegetable or every single part of your meal, this is a bread way to go ahead and do so. All right. So the breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs start going in half at a time, please, while half I start folding. At a time. Okay. This yeah. I gotta use my hands. Yep. Dig in it. And it's mixed. Yes, it's mixed. I like different flavors. Some people enjoy a cornbread stuffing, mm -hmm. so some people can change it. There's no wrong way. Whatever your favorite bread is, go for it. Got it. The older, the better, too. Right. Okay. All right. Don't this be shy. Is this is smelling gonna... so good. I know you guys can't smell it, but uh, trust me when I say it, it's smelling so good. And it's healthy. The That's best. the beauty of it. And you're seeing every single component of what you're eating go into it instead of it coming from a package that you don't know exactly what's going in it. Right. And this is what makes it also fun for the kids because they know where their food is coming from. They grew it, now they're eating it. Nice. And they're learning history behind it as well. Right, and then they get to pass it on to the next, to their elder generation. To their elder generation. I'm going to take this out because we have that, and it because kind of picked up the flavor you're already. You're developing the wokeness. Correct. I love that. I want them to be empowered and know that they're culture, their history, their flags are represented in everything that we do at Harlem Ground. And that's important. It is because we're building a community with these kids. Like I said, sitting down and breaking bread together creates that community space and understanding. And that's what we most importantly like to do because we call it a farmly. A farmly? Farmly. Instead of a family? Instead of a family. I love that. So you're part of our farmly oh now too. Oh my gosh, I'm part of the Farmly. Yes, you oh are. Oh my gosh, I love that. All right, beautiful. So now everything is just going to absorb all of this loveliness, and then you're just going to make it pretty and garnish it on top. Okay, and what Do the am I flare. garnishing it with? This is the parsley, fresh parsley from the farm. We have a picture of it right here. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Voila. This, 
Smells amazing. Thank you so much, and, and thank you for again, your assistance. This ingredient uh, is going to be offered to you guys on air. Just correct. I just want to go ahead and mention that we have our Thanksgiving drive that is actually happening on Tuesday, the 26th. Right now, our registration has opened up. So if you go to HarlemGrown.org, you can go ahead and pre-register for your turkey for this Thanksgiving. And this is a homemade stuffing. Correct. You made it with oh, me. I, you I did, did it. I did. You watched I it. Sure did. All right. And so on that note, we want to remind. <laughs> Remind everybody that all of these vegetables are locally hot. grown and that Harlem Grown has 14 urban farms in Harlem. And then, and then voila, voila, here we, we are. are. <laughs> Our lovely stuffing has been created. Thank you so much, Sue. Oh my goodness. Now all we need to pleasure. do is eat and say, there we go, look how lovely. Look at this. So I don't know if they could see though how it it all kind of like just melted on oh top of each other just so that they can see how beautiful it looks. So yummy. Yeah. And the beauty of really eating your greens. Yes. Yes. And like I said, adding the Brussels is something different. It's not a traditional way of doing things. But I kind of feel like you should try to challenge yourself to expand just a little bit more and a little bit broader. Well, Brussels sprouts happens to be one of my favorites. Mine so too. <laughs> I'm looking so. forward to this rendition of it. Buen provecho. Tristissimo. Oh my goodness. This is so good. Now, I have to just eat a little bit because, you know, we have to continue the segment. However, I will be helping myself to the rest right. of the platter She's later. She's going to put her place to the side, you know. All right. So if you had any uh, advice to offer anyone who's watching right now mm -hmm. with regards to what we just presented, mm -hmm. in doing it yourself, in making sure that it's your hands, not only, you know, cooking it, growing it, like how, how do you enroll people to be part of this family? Uh, that's a good question. The reason, I, I guess the way that I do it is I get to the children. Like I said, babies create the expression of how you're going to kind of head and grow. We start from little babies, especially on Saturday programs. We like to have a lot of retention. So we like to watch you grow from one place to the other. I'm just gonna and that's the best. <laughs> that's fine. Please. That's the best way to go ahead and say it is that we really empower the children. We give them their voice, and their voice goes home. So now their parents can't be like, oh, I just worked like 10-hour shift. I don't want to do this. No. Now they know how to help and support you. No, Mommy, I got it. I know how to chop. I know how to peel. I know how to do this. Whatever parent, whatever household you have, please go ahead and just break bread together. That's what we really want you guys to do. It's beautiful. I Thank love you. that you're working it in that direction. Yeah. Right? <laughs> um, also, I do want to say before we uh, end the segment, mm -hmm. this has a little kick to it, like a little something that's like it's that fresh garlic it's that harlem garlic. grown garlic gives it a little boost you know you got to come and taste it this is absolutely <laughs> amazing and and i don't i don't have to feel guilty about eating no. it i just want to thank you again thank you for, for having bringing me. it here and yeah. teaching us something new once right. again thank we're talking you. about harlem's m T K, right? Mm -hmm. we're yeah, we're gonna here. hyphen it, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Operating chef and chef coordinator Jamie Rodin. And uh, once again, uh, Harlem Grown is having their Thanksgiving drive that's uh, taking place on Tuesday, November 26th from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Yep. Located at 116 West 134th Street. For more information, you can visit HarlemGrown.org. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, by, by the way, you guys, on another <laughs> note, uh, we're actually going to recommend you get your running shoes ready. That's Ooh. right. Because the High Bridge Heroes Two Mile Walk Run is happening tomorrow, November 23rd at 10 a.m., starting at the High Bridge Bronx side along the future Harlem River waterfront, ending at Roberto Clemente State Park. And you can register today on the website at Bronx District 9. All right, stay tuned. There's more open when we return.